In this video, we'll see how to create a new contact from scratch itself. There are various methods to create a contact. Let us see the basic and simple method. Now, if you see, I've opened the Outlook itself. And now I'll click on this place. Uh, that's a training.tutorialspoint.gmail.com. I'll minimize this one. So if I want to create a contact, it's simple here. I can just go to the home tab. In this place, if you see, I have new items. In this, I have this contact option. So if I click on this contact, I'll get this dialog box. And uh, I have some details which I can fill in, like name, contact number, email ID, photograph, everything, all these options. So to open this window, that is one method. And I'll just click on close. I'll show you the second method. How do you create a contact? So here, if you see at the bottom, that's a contact beside to this mail. I'll just click on this place. So this is the contact view here. And if you see, I can create a new contact. So if I click on this place, I'll get the same window. Either of the options, whichever you feel comfortable, you can use it. Now, let us see. Um, I'll try to enter the details here. Okay. And I'll enter here as Siba. Siba John. So I've entered the name here as Siba John. And uh, if I enter here, then the file as will be as John Siba. It will be inverted. So if you want to display by some other method, it can be displayed here. If I click on this drop down, you can say you also want, you can type as Siba John, anything, or else if you want, it will be displayed as John Siba, the name inverted. Keep on observing here. This is your business card. Whatever you keep on typing, your business card will look like this. And next is, at any point of time, if you think this, it is not enough, Siba John, you should add some more extra in this. You can just click on this full name button. Here you can add some title. So I'll select some title from here. I'll say as Mr. And uh, if you want, you can add the middle name. If you want, you can add the suffix on this place. And finally, you can just click on this OK button. So I'll just click on OK. So it is saying as Mr. Siba John. And here I'll type the name of the company, tutorials point the job title I'd, I'll add here as job title I'll add as corporate trainer next is I'll just click here so you see this your business card is getting built slowly gradually I'll type the email ID Siba at tutorials point see it's reflected I'll just press tab there might be possibility that there might be multiple email IDs of this particular person so what you can do is I'll just click outside so this is the email ID if you want to add more than one email ID, you can just click on this drop down. And if you see there is email, email two, email three. So I'll click on this email two, and I can add second email, siba2 at gmail.com. Randomly I'm adding here. Okay. And same way. So wherever you notice this drop down, that means it is allowing you to enter more than one options. So right now I'll select the first valid email ID. Second is you can add the IM address, phone numbers. I'll just add the phone numbers here, or you can say yes. I'll click on this business and type the phone number. Uh, I'll add any random number like this. Same way you can add for the home, business, fax, mobile. There are multiple ways by which you can contact a person. So if you click on this drop down, it says choose the option which you have. Okay, which contact is available with you, you can choose the option. Let's say car, company, home, anything. So if you want, you can select the mobile and I can just feed the mobile number here plus nine one and anything I can keep on typing here finally if you have the address of the person you can just type the address I'll type a oblique 102 uh, Norway uh, Norway Park anything and you can just keep on typing so whatever details I'm entering you see it has been feed over here if I if I keep my cursor here the details have been fit and this is the business card which is made now after filling the details, if you remember anything about the person and you can write in the notes, you can say he is a trainer for Microsoft Outlook and so on. Any, any details if you want, you can keep on adding and you can say as hardworking, anything. So this will make sure that uh, while writing the names, you have this data so you can remember, you can recall that person how it is. Similarly, if you want to add an image of the person you can add, you can just click on this place and I have some image I've kept at the desktop and this is the person photo. I'll just click on this place. So that's a photograph which is added to this person, right? Similarly, uh, similarly, if you see after this entering the details, these are the general details. If I click on this details part, 
I can add some more details. Let's say I can add the department, office, profession, nickname and so on. Similarly, I have manager's name, assistant name, his birthday, anniversary. If it's your client, it will be very useful to remember the birthday, anniversary and different details. Right. And finally, you can just click on general. Once you have done, once you have done, you can use the option as save and close. This contact will be saved and it will be closed. Otherwise, you can see as save and new. That means this will be saved and it will create a new one. So I'll show you save and new. So that is saved and again there's a blank form which is used and you can keep on typing one more contact. So right now I'll just click on this close button, right? So whatever contacts you have created that will be displayed here. That will be displayed in the contacts, in this contacts and if you see that is C bar John and on the right hand side if you see these are the details you'll get about the uh, this one. So if I click on this place, yeah. Now I'll get the details about the person that is email ID, phone number, contact number, everything, all the address and details, right? So I hope you're able to understand how to create a contact from the scratch from the basic type itself. That's all for this video.